Joel Pachter. I'm a professor of cell biology at the University of Connecticut Health Center in Farmington, Connecticut. My laboratory mainly focuses on the blood-brain barrier and in CNS inflammatory diseases like multiple sclerosis. We're actually using laser capture and qPCR to help genetically profile the microvessels that course through the brain and the spinal cord to see what changes occur during the progression of inflammatory disease. We realized that the vasculature was very heterogeneous and in order to better model that system, we had to get a better understanding how diverse the microvessels were in situ, in the brain and in the spinal cord. And that's what ultimately drove us to use laser capture for that purpose. The first challenge was how to get those vessels out of a tissue section and how to identify the vessels. So we had to develop immunostaining protocols that would clearly identify the vessel populations that we wanted and also helped us identify the cells that we didn't want to get and with laser capture, we could do both. We wanted to stain for an antigen that was present throughout the vasculature and then use size as a means of selecting the specific types of vessels that we wanted. We also wanted to avoid contaminating neural tissue, and so we supplemented the immunohistochemical staining protocol with an immunofluorescence protocol, which allowed us to view in live time two antigens that were labeled and being able to extract one and leave the other behind. The IR laser capture process is very unique to Ar the Arctura system. The UV systems, uh, which just use the UV system alone, uh, have a problem in that the UV light can introduce energy into the system that results in cross-linking of RNAs to proteins, which, make, which makes it difficult to extract. We've evaluated other platforms that are limited by the downstream applications that we can couple them to, whereas the uh, Arctura system is not. But we knew that the qPCR was a good platform to go by because even the traditional hybridization-based arrays have to be confirmed by qPCR in the end. A focused array seemed much more efficient to focus on the panels of genes that we thought were involved in the processes that we were looking at. So for the mouse immune array panel, it seemed perfectly suited for our type of analysis. The benefit was time. Before, we were simply doing two to three genes at one time, which ultimately took years to be able to elaborate uh, a profile. With the tilde analysis, we're able to analyze 384 genes at one time. And so within about six hours from beginning to end, starting the LCM process to finishing the tilde analysis, we could get 384 genes. My experience with life technologies uh, has been very positive because it was an easy platform to couple the laser capture with their downstream applications, being all housed really within one company. So I was able to speak with field operators in all aspects of the process, and that made uh, the development of our immuno-LCM tilde analysis all that much better. Well, we're making considerable headway in understanding how the vasculature of the brain is, is really integrated and how certain vessels respond to certain stimuli and are involved in certain disease processes and also even normal processes. This will help us better uh, generate and develop new pharmacotherapies to specifically address uh, the problems that we've known about with regard to the blood-brain barrier.